Inside the engine block, there is a crankshaft. Piston rods are attached to crankshaft. Pistons are attached to the pistons rods. As the crankshaft turns, it causes the lifter to make each piston move up and down. At the top of the crankshaft there is a camshaft which is connected to the crankshaft by a timing belt. While the crankshaft is making the pistons move up and down, the camshaft is turning making the valves to open and close. First, the inlet valve is opened, and the fuel-air mixture is drawn in, as the piston travels down, valve is closed, and the piston travels back up the cylinder, compressing the fuel-air mixture. Just before piston reaches the top of its compression stroke, a spark plug emits a spark, to combust the fuel-air mixture. Third, combustion stroke, the piston is now forced down by the pressure wave of the combustion of the fuel-air mixture. The engine's power is derived from this cycle. F exhaust stroke, the exhaust valve is opened and the piston travels back up, expelling the exhaust gases through the exhaust valve.